18 US states are suing the SEC and accusing Gary Gensler of crypto overreach. Well, in today's video, my friend, we are going to delve into an incredible session here. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end. Let's get right into it. Crypto Bliss, thank you for all of my subscribers. I truly appreciate every single one of you. You guys are all just absolutely amazing and blessed. So thank you to you. Yes, you right now watching this video, I appreciate you. Alrighty. So with that being said, 18 states are busy suing um, the SEC because of their overreach from Gary Gensler. You can see this is all over the news. This is recent news. And this comes from Gary Gensler pretty much putting out a statement on his Twitter page, basically uh, saying thanks to everybody at the SEC. It's been a wild run and all of that kind of stuff, which is kind of showing that he wants to somewhat um, resign and still have some of his, his dignity intact and leave before he gets his ass fired by the Trump administration. So I guess that's busy unfolding and we'll very likely and probably see that we get Gary Gensler resigning and leaving over the next few uh, days. Very, very powerful information that's happening. And with the US debt clock pumping through its all-time high of now $36 trillion in debt, Okay, we've put $2.8 2, $2 billion into the market in the last day or two. Okay, that's, in fact, not even, probably the yeah, last day. Okay, so this is amazing to see this stuff busy unfolding here. What Mr. Larry Frank thinks about Bitcoin, well, he actually believes that the underlying technology of Bitcoin is fantastic. Let's hear what he has to say himself. Well, no, I actually believe the underlying technology is fantastic because oh, really? the blockchain will help you accelerate the processes of mm. transactions. The blockchain will help you identify. I mean, l let's be clear. If you have a pure blockchain and you have every you have knowledge of who the buyers and sellers are, we could then, you know, we don't need custodians Absolutely anymore. Absolutely powerful, right? I've got so many videos, just little snippets of videos I'm going to share with you today. Because if you read my title and my thumbnail in this video, my friends, you do not have enough Bitcoin. You are not prepared for this beautiful crypto tsunami tidal wave. Okay, so shit is getting real here in the space. Just in, the CFTC has issued a notice clearing the way for spot Bitcoin ETF options to be listed. That is massive, 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 massive. Okay. And that, my friends, is going to start this tidal wave as well. So it's the second wave of tidal waves. The bullish Bitcoin reserves on exchanges hit a 2018 low, signaling rising demand and tightening supply that could boost the prices. If you guys have not seen this, okay, this is the exchanges on reserve, Bitcoin on exchanges. It is literally depleted on its ass since this, uh, this little rally here. All right. The price is going up. This is getting massively, massively. And look at this, okay? The um, exchange reserves pulled up, but all of it's now all of a sudden be, being purchased, and that's because of the ETFs, okay? Very simple. Now, today's spot Bitcoin ETFs have pulled in nearly, so this was from yesterday, 4 billion in volume, and BlackRock's IBIT accounts for nearly 60% of that at 2.41 billion. My friends, I don't think you understand this, but BlackRock ain't selling their Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And so I wanna show you this little um, snippet from Van Eck. We're optimistic that over time, regulation, regulators will approve these products regarding their Solana ETF filing. Let's listen to what he has to say. Yeah, so when we looked at our Ethereum filing and, uh, you know, examined the language around decentralization and the characteristics of the blockchain, and then refreshed uh, our deep dive on Solana to look at, like, who controls the chain, who can stop it, uh, you know, what we concluded is that the ETH and Sol assets at this point are um, f fundamentally the same, that uh, no single entity uh, controls more than 20% of the uh, Sol Solana outstanding, nor can they halt the chain unilaterally. Uh, and so this um, sole asset is, you know, a utility commodity that gives access to the second largest open source uh, app store. 
we're optimistic that over time uh, the regulator will will approve these products. I know that there's a lot of focus on the existence of a uh, regulated futures market of significant size in order to give the regulator the transparency uh, to get comfort that the market is not manipulated. Frankly, we think that the focus on that regulated market of, of significant size, the futures market, is a Gensler PSYOP. Uh, there are other ETFs in the market that cover pa- the power market, the electricity market, the shipping market, the uranium market, where the futures market is just immaterial to the price formation in those markets. Uh, so we, we think this can get done, but uh, probably you know might need a different SEC chair. So. I don't know about you, but I spoke about a Solana ETF fighting for Van Eck probably last year already, or maybe the beginning of this year, towards the end of last year, beginning of this year already, that they had it on their website that you could go, that they were interested in filing for the Solana spot ETF. That's just as simple as that. My friends, we have a lot ahead of us. Since the latest news on uh, Senator Cynthia Loomis, Bitcoin, Act of 24 bill aims to acquire 1 million Bitcoin over five years. Now, now if you did the math, that's 200,000 Bitcoin. What does that actually look like? And look at the market caps, nearly 3.2 trillion. We're pretty much coming up to all time highs on the total market cap. And we'll have a look at that in a short moment. But my friends, just at today's price, 200,000 Bitcoin is worth 182 billion dollars so in other words they're going to spend 182 billion dollars and every time they buy it will increase so my friends i don't know about you okay but the u.s government could make blackrock look quite small in their purchases um not really because blackrock of course will be the front leaders but with this you have a very 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 powerfully long way to go with bitcoin and of course this is more evidence that today XRP nearly pumped 20% and the market is clearly betting on Gary Gensler's departure and a potential resolution of the SEC's case against Ripple. It's unfolding. Crypto is going to be released. It's going to be freed of this bullshit system that has been put in place by this chunky monkey and his cronies, like Trump says. Now, just in, okay... Chicago Fed President Austin Goolsbee says over the next 12 to 18 months, rates will be a lot lower than where they are now. That's very interesting, right? Because that is a contradiction to what Fed Chair Powell is saying. And Fed Chair Powell is saying, well, we're not in a rush to lower rates, but yet you see what I mean. So there's noise busy happening out there. Now, this is the latest um, video here from Kathy at um, ARK Invest. And she predicts Bitcoin could hit 650,000 with a bull case of one to one and a half million by 2030. So listen to her. We have a 2030 target. In our base case, it's around $650,000. In our bull case, it's uh, between one and $1.5 million. Uh, now, remember, we were the first public asset manager to gain exposure to Bitcoin in 2015 at $250. And we still, at 90000 I think we have a long way to go. Why? Uh, well, first of all, we're getting regulatory relief here. And I think that's one of the most most important things coming out of this administration. We will get regulatory relief on all kinds of innovation, including uh, health care. Um, so the other thing is uh, we're, we're looking at Bitcoin now being viewed as a new asset class. It's not just a global monetary system. It's a new asset class. And what that means is institutions and asset allocators generally are saying, wait a minute, this this asset is behaving differently from all of our other assets we need to include. So I think that's the next big move. And uh, uh, and if you look at years where the Bitcoin has halved and the inflation rate has gone down to 0.9, it's usually had a nice big move. We have... a 2030 target of the bear case of 650,000 and the bull case of 1.5 1 to 1.5 million. Bitcoin is sitting at 91,000. So that means you have to wait five years because 2024 is pretty much finished. You have to wait five years 
to get from 90,000 to about 650,000 as the base case to one and a half million. Are you seeing what it is that I'm seeing? You don't have enough Bitcoin, my friends. Okay. okay. Now, with, with that, that being said, said, Sailor, I would be surprised if we don't get through 100K in November, December. Let's what do you think is the biggest thing. threat to Bitcoin's price staying above 60K? What potentially causes another dive below 30K? Yeah, well, I, I don't think it's going to 60K. It's not going to 30K. I think it's going to go up from here. Uh, I'm planning the 100K party, and I'm thinking it's probably going to be New Year's Eve at my house. So I would be surprised if we don't go through 100K in uh, November or December. So then what's the biggest threat to it going lower, even if it doesn't get that low? I think the biggest the biggest uncertainty in the industry was November 5th. And would you have a blue wave? Would you have a red wave? Or would you have a split Congress? And would you have any dispute about the future of crypto assets and Bitcoin? I think that was settled by the people very decidedly on November 5th. And I don't really see any threats uh, in the near term horizon. Bitcoin what do you think is the to 100K by New Year's Eve? We're at 92 k guys. That literally is like nine nine and eight and a half eight point nine percent away so don't be fooled that's an easy target for it to achieve considering this year alone we have seen a hundred and forty three percent pump so far okay mad gains mad gains and it can do it in a week it can do it in a day all right leave that up and this so, poor sod over here i'm sorry to him um sure. I don't even know what to say about this. This is funny because in 2011, one Bitcoin was $1 and one bar of gold was 1900 Today in 2024, like 13 years later, one Bitcoin is $90,000 and one bar of gold is $2,500. So you'd have to own a lot of gold to have made the same significant difference. This is a 90,000x gain difference. This is like a a 0.5x gain, 6x gain. Okay, ridiculous. And so you can see here that ARC predicts by 2030 price target, okay, 1.48 million. This is the bull case. The base case is 682 and the bear case is 258. So even if we had to go to the bear case, 9.18.27, my friends, that's still three times the money that you have today. Okay, don't be fooled because this is what you need to do. You need to buy Bitcoin, hold Bitcoin, store it in your hardware ledger wallet. Okay, get some action going and just accumulate. Even if it's just $1 a day, my friends, just $1 or $1 a fucking month. I, I don't care. But $1 a month is going to give you that many Satoshi, okay? And if you guys know that one Satoshi will be worth a, uh, sorry, one Satoshi will be worth $1, which means that one Bitcoin will be worth $100 million, okay? Why would you not want to do any of that? And we're far away from that. We're literally only getting the ball going. Trump has announced that the repository Repos repost if the United States should begin stockpiling Bitcoin as a part of the strategic reserve. Well, there's very likely the bill that uh, Loomis put out that it will unfold. So let's go and see what the next steps are. Because Michael Saylor says that MicroStrategy may deploy $42 billion towards Bitcoin much faster than they expect. And if the United States adopts a strategic Bitcoin reserve, it could offset about $16 trillion out of that $36 trillion. What? To lay the Bitcoin That's value crazy. proposition. And of course, MicroStrategy on October 30th announced that we were going to raise $42 billion to buy Bitcoin. And that's the same as saying we're going to buy every Bitcoin mine for the next three years at $85,000 or more Bitcoin. So there's a lot of bullish things going on in the market right now. And I do that want to get to that. To in other words, they're going to raise the 42 billion and they're going to do it a whole lot faster than what they originally said and my friends that is ridiculously bullish news and if you're not bullish enough yet i, I can't help you because this thing has gone from down here okay to all the way up here we are mad and it's not gonna stop so one of the coolest things that i've seen this week 
was that um, since RFK was announced the head of the health or the health department in the US, the um, big pharma stocks have massively crashed. I wonder why that is, my friends. But anyways, I hope you're enjoying the content here from the Crypto Bliss channel. I just want to delve right into this here because on the weekly, the Bitcoin chart, on the weekly, we have broken out very nicely. We've got some very strong bullish candles, good volume, MACDs up. Um, and what we can see here is that we're approaching the 1.618, the 100,000 level. So I wouldn't be surprised within the next week if we didn't hit that $100,000 level. Now, will it hit it and then have a hard reset? I don't know. We did have like slow movements on the way up here, 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 and here, and this long one here to that high. So we could, my friend, we really could. And I wouldn't be surprised if we pull back down to 75 odd, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Like Michael Saylor says, we're heading for the moon. And if you are on total part of this, well, well my, my friends, friends, I just need to show you that the total crypto market cap is officially looking to break out of its previous all-time high. It's literally tapping on the edge. It did make an all-time high there. We're in the all-time high zone. So in other words, we have at least another one and a half trillion to come into this just to get to the 1.618. One and a half trillion dollars. You decide well, how much of that Bitcoin will get because Bitcoin is currently sitting at 1.8. I think Bitcoin will get probably why like 800 800 billion to 1 trillion of that okay because of everything that is busy going on the total to crypto market cap hasn't yet broken okay. out because okay. ethereum has not yet broken out in fact ethereum is quite sluggish at the moment and needs to break out through this all-time high once it breaks through that all-time high well then we will see this pump up and then we will see the crypto two, including Ethereum, China sitting at like one and a half trillion dollars at the previous high. Not only that, but the total three market cap, in other words, all the altcoins have broken out. It's broken out, it's confirmed, it's broken out this week. It's very unlikely, bar a black swan event, that we get this candle pulling all the way back down into this zone here, which means that we are literally getting ready to bust through the 618 right up here, and the market cap will work its way up to the all-time highs of the total three at about $1.25 trillion, $2 trillion and beyond. I believe we're going to see a $4 trillion to $8 trillion market cap just for these altcoins, my friend. I don't know. You let me know what you think. Make sure you use my Bybit link down below. Get yourself some Bitcoin. Bitcoin is pumping here. Again, guys, you cannot miss out on the opportunities to buy Bitcoin because if you are, then you aren't subscribed to my channel, you aren't following what you need to follow, and you aren't buying yourself the best asset in the entire world. Thanks for being here on the Crypto Bliss channel. Truly appreciate you, and we'll see you on the next one.